uh, this year's focus is collaboration of the open, and my talk will highlight its negative aspects. Openness is an important thing of which we are proud in Wikimedia, but sometimes it causes problems. Because Wikipedia is open to everyone, it is susceptible to vandalism, propaganda, low-quality edits, and inappropriate advertising. In this context, I will introduce and discuss the trend of Japanese media companies editing Japanese Wikipedia for purpose of entertainment and advertising. Multiple TV programs in Japan have edited Wikipedia to amuse their audiences by adding irrelevant information to articles, which violate various regulations of Japanese Wikipedia. Although this behavior has been heavily criticized by the Japanese Wikipedia community, as far as I know, it does not keep media companies from editing Wikipedia. I will talk about this lamentable situation today. Uh, this is the table of contents for today's talk. Among several similar incidents, I will provide two relatively well-known examples involving TV shows, Gokurak Tombo Kakeru TV and Ano-chan no Denden Denpa. Next, I will highlight several rather minor incidents which are not limited to TV. After that, I will provide analysis of this problem, propose possible solutions, and conclude with a relatively positive move in the media. I apologize that much of this presentation discusses senseless vandalism of a somewhat sexual nature. The first example is Gokurak Tombo Kakeru TV, which was a variety show distributed by Abima, an online stream, st streaming service from 2017 to 2019. Gokurak Tombo is the name of the comedy duo who hosted the show, and its literal meaning is heavenly dragonfly, which refers to a happy-go-lucky person in Japanese meaning. And Jap and kakeru means to bet in Japanese. In September and October 2017, this show uploaded various photos to Wikimedia Commons as part of the show's segment named Providing Sexy and Stupid Photos to Wikipedia. Uh, this show created its own account named Kakeru TV and uh, I, skip, I will skip the editing history. Uh, I uploaded the slide, and if you would like to see the editing history, please download the slides. Uh, it <laughs> yes, uh, it's a quite uh, chaotic, you can see the chaotic editing history of this article <laughs> when you see it. And uh, Gokulak Tombo and other celebrities appearing in the show were invol uh, involved in <laughs> in this segment, and their photos were added to first to the Wikimedia Commons and added to the article after that. Most of the photos contained jokes of a sexual nature. I will provide an example to highlight the vandalistic nature of the show, but you may find it inappropriate because it ridicules sexual harassment. If this material will m might make you feel uncomfortable, please don't look at the file. I, we are going to open. Uh, would you please uh, open the last uh, op uh, last link on the slide? Opai uh, If you understand the Japanese, Opai Seijin sounds really stupid. <laughs> yeah. You can see. It, uh, can you see that? Uh, I think the quality is not good. Uh, it's. Uh, in short, uh, a woman flashed her boobs and uh, she was followed by uh, female breast obsessed people. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, this, this is Kakiru TV's GIF named Oppai Seijin, which is a slang term for someone obsessed with female breasts in Japanese. <laughs> Uh, Japanese Wikipedia has an article titled Oppai Seijin uh, and the account named Kakeru TV added this GIF file to the article on the 5th October 2017. The photo uploaded by Kakeru TV was mostly like this, <laughs> unencyclopedic, low quality and self-promotional. And its editing violated the regulations about paid contribution too. Would you please back to go back to the slide? Okay. And to make matters worse, Yamamoto Keiichi, a member of Gokurak Tombo, had been dropped by his agent in 2006 because of sexual misconduct against a minor. 
The case was settled out of court, and Yamamoto Keiichi waited for a while and returned to the in the, uh, entertainment industry. The uh, suspect accused of sexual misconduct and once expelled from the entertainment industry made photos that mocked sexual harassment and added them to Wikimedia Commons to advertise this streaming show. In my opinion, this behavior was completely unacceptable. Kakeru TV tried to exploit Wikipedia and Wikimedia Commons for the purpose of revitalizing Yamamoto Keiichi's career. Due to criticism within the Japanese Wikipedia community, Kakeru TV apologized and stopped uploading photos. Most of the photos are currently not used in Wikipedia, although the portraits of celebrities participating in the show are cropped and used in biographical articles because they are not problematic. Okay, let's move on to a more recent example. Ano-chan no den den denpa, or Ano-chan's radio wave in English, is a late night talk show broadcast by TV Tokyo. Its host, Ano-chan, is a Japanese female singer. The word denpa, or radio wave, is also <coughs> used to refer to someone who believes in and propagates bizarre and insane ideas in Japanese. The title of the show implies that it has eccentric ideas. Ano-chan no den den denpa broadcast an episode named Let's Edit Wikipedia on the 13th February 2024, in which the host edited an article on Pale Dusk, a Japanese rock band whose members were guests of the show in this episode. None of the information added to the article on Pale Dusk by Ano-chan had a footnote, and basically Ano-chan wrote the pieces of information provided through the conversation with the members of Pale Dusk. All the pieces of information added were personal and trivial according to Wikipedia's standard. And some of the edits included sexual jokes, such as each member's personal sexual progress, like this member has a big penis, or the member had sex four days ago. Uh, actually, you, you can also see the editing history of the article if you see the slides, of, uh, if you click the slide. So if you are interested in it, please download the slide and see the editing history. It's really chaotic. First, the show's team created the account user then 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 par and used it. But since this account has was blocked for vandalism, the team also created four more accounts with a similar name, like uh, then 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 par one or then 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 par two, uh, which is obvious sock puppetry. Because of their edits, the, uh, the 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 article of Pale Dusk was protected. The show was heavily criticized for vandalism among the Japanese Wikipedia community, but the show's Twitter account complained that their Wikipedia account was blocked, saying that the information added was approved by the band members themselves, with no remorse about or understanding of vandalism. Every Wikipedia knows that no information should be added to biographies of living people <coughs> unless it has reliable sources. The team behind Ano-chan no Den Den Denpa did not even notice that. While these two examples are notorious among the Japanese Wikipedia community, there are other minor incidents in which media outlets tried to, <coughs> uh, tried to manipulate Japanese Wikipedia for publicity. These inappropriate edits were attempted not only by TV and streaming companies, but also YouTubers and radio companies. In December 2010, Kizuna Ai, the first major virtual YouTuber, asked the viewers to create a Wikipedia article about Kizuna Ai in a YouTube episode. Does anyone know Kizuna Ai? If you know Kizuna Ai, please raise your hand. Oh, some, <laughs> some, some people know that. Yeah, uh, actually, uh, Kizuna Ai is a now quite a famous virtual YouTuber. But this virtual YouTuber just debuted in November 2016. And the YouTube episode in December 2016 was an obvious attempt for publicity. After the YouTube episode was distributed, a new article was created as a publicity stunt, but was subsequently deleted. On the 15th October 2017, Nogi Funya TV, a streaming show featuring a Japanese female idol group named Nogi Zakas 46, declared that it would give gifts to viewers if the article of the show were created in Japanese Wikipedia during the live broadcasting. 
The new article of the show was created, deleted as an advertising attempt, recreated, and redeleted. This show was also distributed by Abima, the same streaming platform as Kakeru TV. And this incident happened just 10 days after Kakeru TV's incident. Due to the successive vandalism, Abema, TV, Abema acquired a bad reputation among Japanese Wikipedians. I apologize for averaging personal topics, but media companies often contacted me about professional knowledge. Since I am a university teacher and one of the only few Wikipedians that have disclosed their actual name in Japanese community. But after this, this incident, whenever Abima contacted me for my professional knowledge, I always declined their offers. Let's move on to the next example. From April to July 2018, a party at the mass or bravo we are doing it in English, a radio show broadcast by MBS Radio, asked listeners to edit the Wikipedia article of Matsuda Daisuke, a comedian and one of the show's hosts. Since listeners kept adding trivial information, including sexual jokes, to the article, it was protected. The last case is very complicated and has not been confirmed, but many Wikipedians suspect that it was also a publicity stunt by a broadcasting company. From the 27th to the 29th December 2022, BSTV Tokyo, one of the channels owned by TV Tokyo, broadcast a mockumentary show named Kono Tape Motte Nai Desu Ka, or Don't You Have This Tape in English. Don't You Have This Tape is a mini-series that pretends to be a nostalgia-based show, introducing all the TV footage owned by viewers, although all the footage is fake. Uh, has anyone seen Late Night with the Devil? If someone's... Oh, just one person. Uh, it's a bit like uh, Late Night with the Devil uh, because it is a fake documentary style horror show focusing on old TV footage, although the atmosphere is very different. Don't you have this tape contains a segment from a fictional 1980s TV show, Sakatani Ichiro no Midnight Paradise, or Sakatani Ichiro's Midnight Paradise in English. Soon after, the first episode of Don't You Have This Tape was aired. An article about Sakatani Ichiro's Midnight Paradise was created in Japanese Wikipedia, although this show did not exist at all. It is completely fictional. Uh, the article was deleted within one hour. Furthermore, similar kinds of uh, suspicious edits about Sakatani Ichiro's Midnight Paradise were made in another Japanese wik encyclopedia-like website, Niko Nikopedia, or Niko Niko Daihyaka in Japanese. A anyone knows Niko Niko Nikopedia? No, no, no one? <laughs> it's, uh, it's run by Kadokawa. Uh, in the Japanese Wikipedia community, staff members of the show have been suspected of creating that article of the non-existent TV show to make Don't You Have This Tape look more plausible, although we do not, know, we do not have solid evidence. TV Tokyo also broadcast Ano-chan no Den Den Denpa approximately one year after this incident, which has reinforced the suspicion in the Japanese Wikipedia community. Okay, uh, here I make several points about the behavior of these media companies. First, uh, all the various media companies tried publicity stunts in Wikipedia. Two broadcasters are particularly irresponsible, TV Tokyo and Abima, both of whom violated Wikipedia's rules multiple times. They have no knowledge about Wikipedia and have never learned its rules or customs. These TV companies think that Wikipedia is open, but they are not open to Wikipedia, since they have no intention or intellectual appetite to learn more about Wikipedia. Uh, second, uh, for some reason, Japanese broadcasters tend to believe that out-of-place sex jokes are funny. Uh, believe me, since my day job is Shakespearean, Shakespearean scholar, I read and hear better sex jokes every day. And I cannot believe that writing this guy has a big penis in, in Wikipedia could be in any way funny. Uh, this behavior is just childish and stupid. Japanese broadcasters' sense of humor needs serious updating. 
Uh, third, such behaviors can be ascribed to the Japanese broadcast TV company's lack of understanding of Wikipedia as social infrastructure. They don't know that Wikipedia has various rules or that our community always tries to maintain a certain quality. Perhaps they never even noticed that Wikipedia has a community or real people like us maintaining the project. Because Wikipedia is an open collaborative project, some mistakenly regard it as a playground for trivial information rather than a socially important information resource. Uh, Wikipedia, however, should be a gate to good information for all people, including children and the unprivileged. Writing stupid things on Wikipedia is the same as scribbling on timetables at the bus stop or train stations. But sadly, the Japanese broadcasters rarely notice that. They do not treat Wikipedia as their equal. In my personal opinion, serious Wikipedians, though very small in number, work as hard as staff members of mainstream media companies in order to make Wikipedia a reliable information resource. I think we deserve a little bit more respect from these media companies, but it has never occurred to them that when they vandalize Wikipedia, someone will be hurt and troubled with more work. What can we do to improve this lamentable situation? Uh, one possible solution is to encourage Japanese broadcasters to contact Wikipedians before making a show about Wikipedia and doing stupid things. NHK, a Japanese public broadcaster, and TVS, another broadcasting company in Japan, have made several TV and radio shows focusing on Wikipedia, and their shows were relatively well received by both Wikipedians and non-Wikipedians. <clears throat> These companies almost always contacted Wikipedians before planning programs. I have helped both companies, and in my opinion, whenever they make Wikipedia-related programs, they tend to find experienced Wikipedians in advance. And I think that makes a great difference. Another solution is getting non-Wikipedians to understand that Wikipedia is important social infrastructure through various types of public events, media coverage, and education. Maybe Wikipedia itself needs some kind of publicity stunt in Japan in an educational context. Because Wikimedia community cultures greatly differ by, differ by languages, advertising needs localizing. For example, Wikipedia's donation banner is often mocked by Japanese users for its strange wording. And Japanese Wikipedians, including myself, re receive complaints about the wording every year. Uh, Japanese Wikipedia even has an article about Wikipedia donation banner, partly because it is wild, widely regarded as weird. I think Japanese Wikipedia is the only Wikipedia that has an article about Wikipedia donation banner, partly because of the strange wording and the persistent appearance of the donation banner. Many people, non-Wikipedians in Japan, wrongly believe that Wikipedia is a poor, shabby organization. <laughs> Proper localizing is a key to making Wikipedia well-received re in Japan. While the media treatment of Japanese Wikipedia is bleak, an interesting move was made recently. Uh, Wikipedia literature... Oh, sorry. Oh. Wikipedia literature, or Wikipedia bungaku in Japanese, is a slang term for Japanese Wikipedia articles that are interesting to read or that have literary quality. Bungaku means literature. In Japanese Wikipedia, there are several famous articles referred to as Wikipedia literature. And there is also an article titled Wikipedia Bungaku, which is a relatively well-known term among non-Wikipedians. A major Japanese publishing company, Shincho Sha, started using this word in April this year to advertise a book related to Wikipedia literature. Uh, Shincho Sha advertised some books as the basis for Wikipedia literature in social media posts, and bookshops used this word in their ads too. It is an inter interesting story, but today I don't have enough time to discuss it. Although there have been debates about this term among Wikipedians, I think this is a welcome trend because it could remind media companies of the importance of Wikipedia as a knowledge resource. I hope that Japanese media companies will be more open to Wikipedia in the true sense of the word. 
Uh, this concludes my presentation, and I welcome questions and comments. I am especially interested in knowing whether uh, whether this type of problem is encountered in all, uh, other Wikipedia uh, other Wikipedias. If anyone is aware of similar problems in non-Japanese Wikipedia, please tell us. I welcome questions. Hi, thank you for your talk. It was super interesting. As you were going over the first part about editing Wikipedia live, it reminded me of something that happened in 2006 on the Colbert Report, where he suggested that his viewers, he had quite a big viewership, go on, edit Wikipedia, and either vandalize it or introduce facts that they would create reality from the facts. So he tried to say something like, elephants have tripled in size over the last few years or something like that. So I wondered, if you think that that was maybe their inspiration, or anyhow, that's that's one example of where it's happened before. I can put it into the Etherpad notes if you'd like to read more about it. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. I think uh, it was. The, I think the word uh, wiki wikiality or toolsness was a word perhaps uh, very fashionable around the uh, in the in the time of Corbia Ripple. Uh, but I'm not quite sure people in Japanese media company who did see Colbert Report or the American TV shows. But uh, yes, but I think the uh, uh, situation uh, uh, is a bit similar because Japanese TV company tried to create some kind of uh, truthness or wikiarty by p uh, asking people to edit Wikipedia or editing Wikipedia by themselves. Thank you very much. Thanks. Great talk. Uh, have you tried uh, contacting media regulators about this? Uh, not, no. I think no. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Any 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 Wikipedia have contacted the media regulator previously? Or uh, yeah, but I think it was trying. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Great talk. Um, the yes. So first of all, you ask if this happens at other wikis. I'm a French Wikipedia administrator. It happened, but less. You know, the more, well, the more known Wikipedia is, the less people are likely to do this. Mm -hmm. But they still try. So yes, uh, my question is: uh, As other media reacted to this attempt covering the fact that uh, look, that broadcasting company is doing bad things on Wikipedia? No, not at no? all. Uh, actually, okay. Wikipedia never uh, uh, inspired interest in other media, <laughs> almost nothing. Almost, uh, not, uh, so if something very strange happens in Wikipedia, no media company would be interested in it. And they know, they had no contact and uh, sometimes they contact wrong people. The people know very little about Wikipedia, they, although they know something about information sciences or the internet. So actually, uh, media, uh, the coverage of media is not quite good about uh, in terms of Wikipedia in Japan. Uh, Two-part question. First part is, uh, could you tell us the Toy TV Tokyo and the and the other t like I guess TV station are they big? TV stations are they really niche station like small? Oh yes, uh, t t uh, TV Tokyo is a mainstream me uh, TV company. I think uh, most region in mo uh, people in most region can see TV Tokyo with no specific uh, sp no special equipment uh, except my hometown. Well, <laughs> actually, my hometown is very in rural area. So. Uh, and Abima TV is a quite a niche uh, online streaming uh, service, but it has gained, um, uh, I think it is a relatively a big streaming service in Japan. Yeah, obviously if NHK pulls this kind of stunt, then they'll yeah. be in a much bigger trouble than something yes. that is that's small. So my second part is kind of like going back to uh, what the first question was. Um, is it possible that the Japanese uh, media industry, when it comes to the its relationship with Wikipedia, is less mature than, say, in the English world? Because that incident was in 2006, while the example you illustrated were like six, eight, ten years later. So is it possible this is a possibility? Uh, actually, I'm not quite... Uh 
Oh yes, uh, actually, I I hope the Japanese media company's relationship with Wikipedia will be more mature. But uh, I have little hope about that because uh, Japanese media companies is chronically troubled by the uh, low quality TV, sh uh, the producing low quality TV show or lack of funding. So. Uh, and I think the, uh, the quality, of, quality of journalism is often discussed in the Japanese, in Japan. So I'm, I'm, I hope I have very, very, very little hope. Uh, my question is about the. There was a similar accident, similar incident in Chinese Wikipedia oh. back in a time in. Uh, around the time of Wikimania Hong Kong in 2013, and there was a company called, uh, I, I think it should be called Ferraro, and one of their friends, Kinder, asked their uh, followers on Facebook to uh, edit Wikipedia oh. to, ex to uh, publicize the advantage of the product but it gained a serious backlash from our local community and they have to end the campaign and apologize. So my question is, are there any uh, corporate actors other than broadcasters to try to manipulate Japanese Wikipedia in the similar ways? Yes, I think there are several minor incidents in, uh, related to uh, SNS or uh, Facebook or Twitter or other uh, social media. But uh, I didn't mention th these uh, incidents because they are quite m m much more minor scale. Because TV has uh, TV and radio companies, uh, if uh, TV broadcasts and are much more uh, have much more influence on the on viewers because they are mainstreaming medias. So uh, in this presentation, I only focused on ma ra ma relatively larger media companies. But there are ma ma many ma many minor incidents related to SN social media. Yes. Thank you so much. A round of applause for our speaker.